Hi, this is Scott's Place and, and today we're going to make my favorite thing is, which is a spaghetti sauce and here are the ingredients. Okay, we, got, we have one pound of ground beef and today I'm going to use a red bell pepper. We're, we have Parmesan cheese, we have mushrooms, we have basil, we got oregano, we have bay leaves, we got garlic here, we got fresh onions from the garden, and these tomatoes are also from my garden. I'm gonna use those. So that's what we're gonna need and we're gonna start with the tomato what I need to do is actually boil the tomato for about a second uh, which makes it very easy to peel off the skin and then I'm gonna cut the ends off then I'm just gonna cube them small that's gonna be our our tomato sauce so let me get started with that and we're gonna boil our tomatoes Okay, my water is getting to a boil, so we're definitely going to need that for our tomato and we're going to need a big saucepan to, to make, uh, to brown our, all our, basically our dry ingredients. Off in the pot they go. Okay, it's been one minute and I'm cooling off my tomatoes with cold water. I'll wait until the water's cool, then I'm gonna cut the butt ends and uh, we're just gonna start peeling. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. Now we're gonna put that aside and chop up our onions from the garden. So I got three pretty small onions from the garden and I'm gonna use the stock too. Basically it's like shallots, but just a bit stronger. Over here I have the remaining of the onion and I'm gonna use that this week to make salads and stuff. So it's not going to waste. We're going to use some oregano and basil, about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more, a teaspoon or so of each, and we're going to chop it fine. Now we do the same with this. Now we're gonna chop this up pretty fine. Okay, and we're gonna chop up three good cloves of garlic, two to three cloves of garlic, okay. Okay, next we're gonna cut a red pepper. I'm gonna about I'm gonna use about half of it. And I like him thin.
Okay, next we're going to slice up about one cup of mushrooms. I'm just going to slice those up. So we're going to saute in two tablespoons of olive oil, our ground beef, onions, garlic, and our fresh herbs, and three big bay leaves or in my case they're lit very little so I put four or five okay we need to saute that half a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt that's up to your taste you can vary from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon that's up to you our onions our minced garlic our fresh herbs basil, organo, our bay leaves, what this is going to do is meld all the spices together and the herbs and everything. Okay, we're good. Okay, next we're gonna transfer our sauteed dry ingredients into our bigger saucepan. And now we're gonna add our cubed tomatoes, tomato paste, um, our pepper and mushrooms into it. And we're just gonna let that simmer. red bell pepper, our mushrooms, our tomatoes, and our tomato paste. Alright, I'm bringing this to a boil and then it's gonna simmer on low with a cover on for about an hour then the last half hour I'm going to remove the cover uh, that way some liquid will evaporate a little bit and uh, we should have something pretty good making a spaghetti sauce is not rocket science there's a million other renditions out there but I like this one uh, my family likes it and so far so good no complaints um, this is a note just to tell you that you don't have to follow this recipe you can add things that you like like some people like little uh, chopped up carrots some people will, will like green peppers uh, I didn't put no tomato sauce it, it varies you can also put tomato sauce in this one is great um, I added a little Parmesan cheese, which I said to the beginning, I uh, just add about a, a teaspoon or two, and it's all about your taste. You taste it, and uh, you think it's missing something. If you find it bitter, here's another trick. Add a, a teaspoon of sugar, it cuts down on the bitterness. There's a million ways to make spaghetti sauce. This is not the only recipe. Like I said, there's a million renditions out there, so knock yourself out. Well, there you go, guys. This is after one hour and a half. It's all done, and it's just simmering on low right now. So all you got to do now is cook your spaghetti, and you get yourself a great meal. Meanwhile, I'm making a little French bread to go with it. I'm going to put some garlic butter on it, and it should be a great meal. This is Scott's Place. We'll catch you guys on my next video.